Today, Tommy shall learn how the brave explorer traps wild animals for the food. But Yvonne, why risk our lives when we can get a complimentary moose burger back at the Mad Cossack any time? Because we are not after the complimentary moose burger. We are after the wild polar bear. Aha! Uh. Shh! <laughs> Squirrel droppings. The polar bear loves to eat the small furry animals. Here is where we must lay the traps. Aren't you afraid? Ach, Yvonne has no time to be scared. Now, quickly, we must hide for the wild beasts. Yvonne, wake up! There's something in the trees. Tommy, quickly cut me down before they finish me off! Frenchman Yvonne was his name Exploring new worlds he dreamed was his fame But reading a map was not his forte So poor Yvonne was soon cast away Yvonne, Yvonne, I'll be gone Sailing the stormy seas Yvonne, Yvonne, I'll be gone No one could hear his pleas He soon found himself in a bit of a pickle The frigid North Seas proved more than fickle Yvonne's navigation would soon cost a price He was knocked overboard and turned into ice Yvonne, Yvonne of the Yukon, hapless volunteer. Yvonne, of the Yukon, frozen for hundreds of years. Three hundred years passed, and with some irony, his skin was thought out by what's need to pee. Yvonne claimed the land for his country's glory, and, and that's, that's the start of the Yvonne story. Yvonne, of the Yukon, frozen by icy seas. Yvonne, of the Yukon, defrosted for you and for me. Send this immediately. Monsieur Kolofsky, I accept your challenge to meet me in the wrestling ring to settle this question of cowardice once and for always. Signed, Vaughn. What question of cowardice? And how do you know Killer Kolofsky? <sighs> Tommy, it is a story of shame and misfortune that began long ago on the smoke-filled battlefields of Armenia. <laughs> S'il vous plaît. Charge! Ouais, tu vois? Un plus bleu. Tu charme, tu as un stupide coward. Ah! <laughs> well, perhaps you are not so stupid. What if King Louis was right? What if Yvonne really is a yellow belly? This killer Kolofsky, somehow he knows. I cannot turn down his challenge. But how could he? Enough! I give you the note, now go. He can't fight. How could that be? He's beyond 
legendary. Beyond the toughest of the tough, he's the great Gargonoid. Apparently, he fractured his pinky while digging in the backyard with his garden weevil. Okay, the public's tired of that old petrified pugilist anyway. We need somebody new for you to fight. Somebody exciting. Somebody with that special quality of mysteriosity. Somebody like, uh, help me now. Yvonne of the Yucca? <laughs> Hey, come on, let's have a look. Everybody deserves a shot at the big top. Even no name losers like Yuvan or the Yukon. So the killer here, in a moment of generosity tinnitus, has decided to let Yuvan or the Yukon have a shot at the fourth world title to be broadcast live in two weeks from somewhere in the Yucca. So, Yemen of the Yucca, get ready to rock and roll! Ever. I wonder what else is on. Wait a minute. Didn't you hear what he said? Kolovsky's coming to fight Yvonne. Did you say Trotsky's coming to play ping pong? Tchaikovsky's written a tune that's all wrong. No! I said Kolovsky's coming to fight Yvonne, and the whole world's gonna be watching. Yeah! Are you okay? Of course. Yvonne will face this challenge not just for himself, but for King Louis! There you go. <sighs> what, you want to chunk Cecile instead? I'm worried about Yvonne. I don't understand how anybody could let something bug them for so long. Oh, you'd be surprised. You know, I knew this guy once who was a great hunter, sort of like Ernest Hemingway. Anyways, one day he came across a killer lion, lost his nerve and ran away. For ten years he felt shame until he got over it. And then one day, he was out hunting again, and he met up with the same lion. And you know what happened? He got eaten alive, yup. Huh? Ow! 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 Hey, Tommy, you have come to watch me train for the big battle, no? Yvonne, Killer Kolovsky's a trained fighter. Nobody'd blame you for calling it off. And let my country and King Louis down again? Never! <sighs> well, if you're gonna go through with it, at least let Dad and me help. You mean Monsieur Bill is a wrestler? Yep. Assistant to the assistant coach in high school for two years. Plus, I could be your manager. Monsieur Bill and Tommy, it would be my honor to have you in my corner. <laughs> Time for a break. I'm gonna show you a couple of top secret wrestling tips. You stick these ball bearings in your shorts. Come wrestling day, you'll take them out and you'll feel lighter, boy. <laughs> Bill, maybe you could warm them up first, no? <sighs> now, when you move around the ring, you'll be hunched over and scary looking like those guys in those old pictures, huh? <laughs> Bill, 
I confess I do not understand this ploy. Ah, it's simple. You slot a seal grease, and then when you slick it all down. Oh, yeah. Your opponent can't see nothing. Pro wrestlers need carbohydrates and vitamins. But most of all, they need meat. Yvonne, would you bring out some muskox from the freezer, boy? But of course, Trainer Bill. <laughs> Someone need to build a fire in here. I think he's ready for humans. Two preliminary boats on Monday, three on Tuesday, a couple more on Wednesday and Thursday. Mon Dieu! You wish to wear me out? It's the only way you're gonna get enough experience to take on a guy like Killer Kolofsky. But I am already strong and fast. <laughs> Most of these guys are just bumps, so ease up on them. But, of course, does Yvonne not have control over his incredible power? trying to get you upset. Down with King Loser! Yeah, down with his pants! <laughs> Sacre bleu! Did that just say down with King Louis? And down with France? No, uh, well, that depends on how you feel about it. How I feel about it! How will this... Son, you may have stumbled across something there. He thinks King Louis is not a man. Bye. <laughs> 
so TV stations from here to Timbuktu. I got four color pens, 3D posters, two turtle doves, and Yvonne in a pear tree. But I ain't making enough money! Hey, Jackie, check it out. What's wrong with that boy? Has he got ants in his pants or something? All right, what's with this meat locker thing? I don't like it. It's making me nervous. Uh, it's just Devon's way of training. He really wants to win. Win? Who cares about winning? This ain't about winning. This is about money. Raking in them dollars. Huh? Hmm. You mean like the killer here ain't a real wrestler? Are you kidding? I'm a florist from Reno. You gotta wise up this little fella before somebody gets discombobulated. <laughs> Kolofsky wants me to take it easy on him, eh? Because he is afraid. <laughs> well, Yvonne takes a dive for no one. You understand? No one! <laughs> 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 Uh, he won't do it. Well, I'm not ruining my nails. And I'm not risking my best wrestler. Give me Vegas. Oh, no. right. Wonder what he's gonna take is gone. <laughs> Yvonne, 78 pounds. Okay, Killer Kolofsky? Hey, folks! Ready for the rumble on the tundra? The killer couldn't make it, so we managed to get Ivan the Terrible instead! Okie dokie, just a smidge over 600 pounds. Tommy, uh, I have heard of this Ivan the Terrible, but I thought he was dead for a hundred years. <sighs> I am doomed. Terrible posters here! Genuine looking autographs! Yvonne's armpit hair! Dental records! Toenail clippings! What do you mean the ref should be here? Where in the hidey hole is he? Don't turn away when you pick your nose and watch out for spitballs. Yeah, merci, Bill, for all your wrestling tips. What's this? My last will and test of the mints. When you see King Louis, tell him I make this sacrifice for France. Yvonne, you're not going to die. Yeah! Okay, now. You fellas should probably shake hands and come out wrestling. <laughs> Whoa. Now, that wasn't very nice, was it? There must be something we can do. One last chance. King Louis. He said these things about Louis.
You are not really Adam the Terrible? <laughs> My name is Gerard de Pupu from Paris. And you? I am from Montmartre, the church by the river. <laughs> Me too. You know that crummy park? Filled with criminals and those lousy cafes. <laughs> Nothing seems to change, eh? <laughs> but wait, why are we fighting? For these clowns? I do not know. We should get something to eat, no? Ouais, good idea. Après vous, monsieur. What? Where are they going? <laughs> Take it easy. They'll be back. But I too must go. Bon voyage, Gerard, and say hello to King Louis. Que? <laughs> Evan is such a kidder. Au revoir. But I am not kidding. Of course you are. Goodbye. Yvonne is flattered, but he cannot go. Why not? Huh? Have you forgotten? We have more of the animal trapping to do. Uh. 